So people, another hot fix will be dropped before 3 p.m. PT, which is today. Now, by the time you're watching this video, it's probably already landed and you're here wondering what's actually changed. Uh, if you're watching this on release, it probably hasn't arrived yet. But today we're going to go through all the changes coming with this hot fix. Fix. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by checking out the video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps out and if you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands 3 videos, be sure to subscribe. Also guys, I am giving away copies of Borderlands 3, so to win one for yourself or a friend, simply make sure you are subbed and have that notification bell button ticked. Drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Okay, so there are many changes coming. Zane's getting buffed, uh, Flax getting nerfed and many other things including buffs to certain weapons, nerfed to others and so forth, so let's go. Weapon hotfixes, sniper rifles. Sniper rifles do your high damage but felt a little cumbersome to use in certain scenarios. This change will increase their overall damage and increase usability in more combat engagement. Critical damage increased by 20%, fire rate increased by 15%, time to aim down sights is reduced by 15% and time to equip reduced by 20%. So it's basically making them feel more heavy but they're going to deal more damage it seems. Pistols. Jacobs and Talk pistols were outperforming other manufacturers, dealing damage to groups of enemies at a much higher rate than other pistols. This change keeps their identity intact but reduces overall group control. TDO, Dahl and Children of the Vault pistols have manufacturer penalties that affected their overall damage. Increasing their overall damage will overcome some of the penalties while retaining their unique gameplay style and feel. Increased damage on all TDO pistols by 15%. Increased damage on all Doll pistols by 15%. Increased damage on all Children of the Vault pistols by 20%. Reduced damage on Jacob's pistols by 15%. And reduced damage on Talk pistols by 10%. Maliwan Manufacturer. Maliwan weapons had reduced overall damage because they applied elemental DLTs at a rate and damage greatly above other manufacturers. This effect was toned down before launch, but the overall damage was not sufficiently adjusted to compensate for the reduction in elemental DLTs. We're adding back some of the overall damage and making the weapons faster so elemental builds can really take advantage of Maliwan weaponry. All Maliwan weapon damage increased by 25%, all Maliwan weapon fire rate increased by 20%. Atlas Manufacturer Atlas weapons relied on a game loop that we felt gave players a greater advantage when used correctly. Turns out the loop is not used if the damage doesn't compensate for the time to set up. So now damage on Atlas weapons should facilitate players using them in general on top of feeling badass when they take advantage of Atlas technology. All Atlas weapon damage increased by 25%. Other adjustments coming. The Jacobs assault rifle change was to differentiate the assault rifle from the pistol as more of a mid to long range powerhouse. Since the assault rifles have now lower mag sizes compared to other assault rifles, they're getting a slight increase to overall damage to compensate. Though SMGs had their fire rates adjusted down before launch, but their damage was never sufficiently increased, so they should feel more appropriate compared to other SMGs. And the Fladov heavy weapon damage has been increased to share in the full heavy weapon treatment. Jacob's assault rifles damage increased by 20%. Though SMG damage increased by 10%. Flayed off heavy weapon damage increased by 25% and E-Tech TD or shotgun damage increased by 50%. Legendary modifications. We're going to be making a larger comprehensive legendary gear pass but we have included the following changes. Kings and Queens cool were modified to lower the fire rate. The weapon has a limited burst shot count so overall fuel of the gun isn't dramatically affected. Kings and Queens cool fire rate reduced by 50%. Firestorm and storm based charge times reduced to 1 second, down from 2. Grave Ward Grave Ward's beam attacks did not properly scale based on level, so at higher levels the two beam attack hardly phase players. Players will find his attacks to be more lethal now. In addition, Grave Ward is a very large enemy and is too easily susceptible to elemental damage unlike the other large bosses. Elemental damage on Grave Ward is now greatly reduced but to compensate, Grave Ward's overall health was reduced. Attacks of Grave Ward now scale based on level, reduced overall health by 20%, increased resistance to your elemental damage, elemental chance resistance increased by 70%, elemental resistance increased by 30%, elemental DLT duration taken reduced by 30%. Other changes, Hollow Point Guardian Rank has been temporarily disabled. We plan on addressing this further in a future pass. 
Vault Hunter should no longer scream when affected by DOT while shields are active. Vending machines will now be restored with higher quality items of the day. Adjusted their visual concern on Maluan shotguns with cryo element. Legendary loot drops have been balanced throughout the game. Crew challenge enemies will drop their intended specific loot and some enemies like Troy and Rampager will be a bit more stingy and no longer drop legendaries every kill. Okay, so we're moving on to the Vault Hunter adjustments, Zane. Zane's gadgets were great at providing additional utility but lacked impact as players leveled up. We increased the Digiclone damage with all equipped weapons so the skill can scale better with players as they get to higher levels and harder content. The drone requires a lot of player involvement to take full advantage of its damage output and increasing the base damage as well as the augments will greatly increase the drone's versatility and reward players even more for using it effectively. Digicolone damage increased by 38%. Wow, I am a Zane main, I am loving these changes. Drone damage increased by 50%. Cryo bullets damage penalty removed. Drone rocket damage increased by 50%. And almighty ordnance rockets damage increased by 75%. Wow, new build incoming people. Amora, guardian angel health restoration reduced from 100% to 50%. Glamour damage penalty reduced from minus 30% to minus 10%. And Flak. Gorilla's enemies bonus is greatly overweighted its penalty to the base skill. We don't want to remove the player style completely, but the overall damage output had to be slightly adjusted because it was outperforming other builds. You damn right it was. We're monitoring the changes and may make another change to the ammo return in a future patch. Gorillas in the Mist duration reduced from 8 seconds to 6 seconds. Gorillas in the Mist critical damage bonus reduced from 50 to 25%. Wow, people, some great changes there in my opinion. I'm loving almost every one of them. The changes for Zane though were definitely needed in my opinion. I mean, Zane is just a step below every other character when it comes to damage output. And the changes they have made here seem pretty fair. But I will jump on in a bit and test everything as soon as I actually get the update. And if I find anything crazy guys, as you guys know, you will find it right here on my channel. But those are the changes coming with a hotfix which should come later today, 27th of September 2019. If the day has already gone by, these hotfixes are already in place. But on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like, cool it helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands 3 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video, upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.